Motion planning is the problem of finding a path to move a robot from its current position to some goal position without colliding with any obstacles. Here, we see a robotic arm moving around a challenging set of obstacles to reach out and grasp the pink toy. The ability to do this quickly is critical for robots that must operate in environments, like the home, that are not carefully controlled and structured. Although motion planning has been studied for decades, existing techniques take seconds on general-purpose CPUs and hundreds of milliseconds on power-hungry GPUs to create a single plan. This is a major obstacle to the practical use of robots in unstructured environments, as there are often long delays between the desire to execute a motion, represented here by pressing the red button, and actually having a plan to execute. Most of this time is spent doing thousands or millions of calculations, checking many small movements to see whether or not they collide with any of the obstacles present. Our team has developed a specialized motion planning processor that is able to find motion plans in under a millisecond. Motion planning is usually done by building a roadmap, which is just a network, where each node represents a specific position of the robot. For example, this pose, with the arm outstretched above the table, is represented by the red node in the network. The green node represents a different pose, with the hand placed directly over the sphere. Two nodes in the network can be connected if the robot can move between the two positions safely. This edge represents a motion between the two poses, seen here. An actual roadmap may have many thousands of nodes and edges. As it moves, the robot sweeps a volume through space, as can be seen by visualizing many intermediate poses of the robot. To avoid performing expensive collision checking at runtime, we discretize space into voxels, and for each motion in the roadmap, we compute the set of voxels that motion collides with. And the set for the motion shown earlier is visualized here. This set of voxels represents the volume swept by the arm. We use these sets to build specialized circuits to detect collisions. Obstacle data is streamed over the circuit, which simply outputs a true or false value of whether that motion is in collision. We build such a circuit for each edge in the roadmap. At runtime, when a robot perceives the environment, all of the motions can be checked for collisions simultaneously in parallel. We implement these circuits on an FPGA for use with the robotic arm shown earlier. Perception of the environment is done using these four Microsoft Connects, from which we can determine which obstacle voxels are present. The collision detection doesn't begin until the red button is pressed. You can see the arm begins moving immediately, with no delay. Our technology is up to 10,000 times faster than previous techniques, and consumes 15 times less energy. The new approach is so fast that motion planning can now be done in real time, faster than perception, and used as a subroutine to perform more complex tasks, opening up many opportunities for automation.